The JCPS school board approved a plan to install weapons detection systems in middle and high schools, but how do they work? WDRB's Amanda Roberts found out at Butler High School where a company put on a demonstration. Amanda? The system is set up right inside here. It does kind of look like a metal detector and functions a little the same in that folks have to walk through it, but instead of detecting metal, the systems use artificial intelligence to detect weapons, pieces, and components on anyone who walks through it. Company representatives say that JCPS would be their third Kentucky school system to work with. Now, during the demonstration, they used a test piece to mimic a weapon, concealed it in a backpack or a waistband, and walk through. The system would beep and a tablet showed both a picture and a moving picture or a gif of the person with the weapon. The graphic, a graphic highlighted where the person, where the weapon was on the person or bag. Now after installation, it would require the district to also staff the system, three people per system, as someone needs to monitor the tablets and speak with students or staff who set off the alarms. Company representatives say the best feedback they've received from schools using the technology already is the peace of mind to give students and staff and that's the peace of mind that JCPS board members want to quickly move towards. Most of our schools are telling us and our students are telling us directly they feel better in school, they're able to focus. We know you can't learn and you certainly can't teach and work um, you know, without focusing in the classroom and they're feeling less anxious about gun violence. We are still going to do the safety measures that we've been doing for, for the years. This is just another layer that we're going to offer to our, to our community. Now, JCPS has not yet put out an RFP, so Evolve has not yet applied for that RFP as of today. The JCPS chief of school says it is important to move quickly in choosing a company so that both the company can install them and the district can staff the systems in time. It's estimated to cost the district approximately $17 million for a five-year lease. The district will also be responsible for staffing and upkeep of the system. JCPS, they're also going to make this technology available for the public to view. That's going to be happening at Butler High School here this coming Tuesday, the first session from 11 to 1, the second session from 4 to 6. Reporting live at Butler High School, I'm Amanda Roberts for WDRB News.